guys and welcome. Today we're going to be doing Christmas decor shopping at Old Time Pottery. They're a home goods store and they have 40 locations in the United States. But even if one isn't close to you, you can still take a look and see if there's anything that inspires you as far as decorating your home for the holidays. And remember to like, share and subscribe for future home and garden topics. So let's go. So here we have some beautiful poinsettia. Definitely one of the best symbols, floral wise, for Christmas. Those are a little bit, you know, blingy. They have the gold around the edges. These right here, these are more like a peppermint theme. They have more of a little pastel thing going on, but you can always mix them in, you know, dress them up in different ways to get the look that you want. And as you can see, there is a vast amount of poinsettias at this store. Definitely a lot to choose from. They're just so striking, they're so beautiful. Uh, we have the white ones here, and that's maybe like if you're going more for a winter wonderland theme, then these would definitely go well. Or if you have maybe a room with a strong color, then you can always put white in there to tone it down a little bit. And just to show you what a typical um, bunch of this looks like, so you have an idea of the proportion that you're working with there. And next we have the trees. I always love that blue, green, evergreen look. And they come in different heights. Some of them are tapered a little bit more than others. You can see a white one there, a couple white ones, even a blue one off to the side. And as you can see, they're pre-lit. Most of them have white lights on them, but they do have a few of them here that actually are multicolored and that again is going to be a matter of your preference you know what you're trying to do as far as your decorations go some of them are a little bit more dense some of them are a little bit more sparse and of course that will also determine um, how many things you can put on there like you can hang a lot of ornaments and other things on there or a little bit less speaking of ornaments they have so many here there are some here that have sort of like a peppermint theme going on. The stripe ones, the silver ones, the red ones. They hold quite a, quite a lot. Maybe one or two might do for your tree depending on the size. And they also have, you know, the more multicolored ones, the green ones, the blue ones. Um, just depends on the color scheme that you're working with. And there's some of them that are larger. Some of them, you'll see that they actually are a combination of sizes. And next we have the Nutcracker. Silver tone, gold tone. There's so many to choose from. And these definitely put you in that Christmas mindset as well. Good to go on your mantle. So it just depends on what you're trying to achieve for the look. And we have the sculptures and they're lit. And these would go into your yard most likely. Or maybe on your porch or your patio. And we have the little train there, little uh, gift boxes. And of course our little four-legged friends. It's like a mom and her little pup and they're all lit on the inside, so it gives them that glow at night. So it's very beautiful, very striking. We have a little penguin here to give you that Arctic feel, of course, on those cold winter nights. And a little snowman. And here we have the star of the show. We have our nativity scene. Mary Joseph, the baby Jesus and those cute little animals looking on. I think their expressions are just so adorable. They are inflatable, so of course they would go out in your yard. And so cute. And now we have elves on the shelf. And they're wearing some very cute little stockings. And these are good additions maybe for your mantle, or you could put them in a kid's room. I'm sure they would love that because they're so cuddly. And, or you can even use them in an office space, 
or maybe your desk at work. It just depends on, you know, the culture and what happens there. And then we have ribbons. We always need those. We need those to make our wreaths. We need those for swags, garlands. We can use them for gifts. They have so many different types here. So many to choose from. Next, we have the berries. And they are so lovely. I just love berries. Very vibrant. vibrant. They help to lighten up and brighten up your wreaths, your floral arrangements, there are so many ways that they can be used. And they have wreaths here, they're grapevine wreaths, and some of them are 16 inches, some are 20. It just depends on what you're using it for. It could be for your fireplace, for your front door, um, a nook in your home. I typically like them about 16 inches, so that way they're very striking. And of course we have some trees here. These are more like for your mantle or a table setting. You can use them in custards. Um, typically you have odd numbers is what you'd want to do. But you can mix and match them in different ways, of course. And if you're going for a more mid-century modern or more minimalistic look, then this might go for you. But of course they also have some silver ones and some gold ones as well. And they're different sizes, 6 inches, 12, 18, it just depends on what you're looking for. And we also have some lovely deer right here. And these are very striking when you put them on your mantle. You honestly don't need a whole lot to go with these to really create a pop right there. And the prices are subject to change, you know. They have deals coming, so you can always look out for those. And it's always good to shop early, so that way you can avoid the crowd and just get what you need, which is what I did. And then you can leave. It's more relaxing. That way you can spend more time browsing for what you want. And here you'll see we have some um, Christmas tree skirts, and they have different types. You'll also see them mixed in with some stockings as well. Very lovely for the mantle. And they have different patterns. The typical Christmas plaid that we see. We see a lot of those. Um, but there are some of them that are patterned too in different ways. Reindeers. All different types. And we also have some for our four-legged friends. Can't leave them out. They put that little surprise in there for them in their little stockings when they see it. And these are all the typical, from what I've seen, the typical uh, Christmas colors. You know, the red, white, green in some cases. But there's so many of those here. Lots to choose from. Next, we're going to come up now to our dining area where they have some really nice tablecloths, table runners, um, placemats, um, just many different types. They have them for square tables, for rectangular tables, for round tables. Um, of course, you always, always want to pay attention to the size of your table before you come in so you know that you'll get the right one so that way you don't have to come back to the store to try to pick another one out because as the season gets busier you just want to minimize the trips that you have to make so it's always good to check the size before you come in to get your tablecloth and runners and so on and these you can see they're the typical uh, Christmas colors here okay so we're moving along now to some more wreaths we have some berry ones, very striking. Honestly, these really don't need a lot to go with them. You put that on your door. Maybe you can add on a ribbon to them. Um, you know, make a bow with the ribbon. Um, typically, like garland. I like the garland plaid to go with these. I think it looks so pretty. Or you can maybe do like a peppermint bow to put on there. You know, many different types. And they also have some um, other ones here that are a variety. Um, some that give you that kind of a snowy feeling some of them um, you know you may see some pastel colors on here you'll see like blues greens you'll see silver you'll see gold tone 
many different types and it's just to give you ideas as well so if you don't necessarily want to get one that's already made you can get your little um, things that you're going to use and you can assemble one together but they're really really nice so I hope this is giving you a lot of ideas and I hope that you'll stick around for future videos with me so for some little projects that we can make to beautify um, your home so I did browse and I did find a couple of things I have a few more that I see that I want to choose for myself so I hope that this was helpful to you and I hope that you really will have a wonderful holiday season I do wish you a Merry Christmas and hope you subscribe so you can see my future videos and thank you so much for watching